The Tudalus hairstyle is extremely ancient. Even in Roman times, it was understood to be very old. It is also one of the few hairstyles discussed by name in Roman literary sources. Festus and Varro agree that it was worn by married women, their hair coiled at the top of the head, held together with ribbons. The Tudalus is supposed to have originated in Etruria. Etruscan sculptures from the 7th through the 5th century BC often depict women with peaked headdress. Many believe these peaks to be depictions of the Tudalus, but it is not always clear on every sculpture whether the peaks signify actual hair or are some kind of hat or cap. An anonymous portrait sculpture from the 40s BC conforms to the literary descriptions of Festus and Varro and may well be a very late incarnation of the ancient Tudalus hairstyle. It does not, however, show ribbons as part of its construction. This deceptively simple style likely required the services of a slave ornatrix for its dressing. An ornatrix would have needed the following equipment to dress her mistress's hair. A comb, a longish hair bodkin, a needle and woolen thread, and a pair of leaf spring scissors or a small knife to cut the thread. First oil the hair well, then separate the back hair from the front hair with an ear-to-ear -ear parting. Separate the nape area from the main body of the back hair, then comb the back hair upward. High on the crown, create a twisted bun with the remaining back hair. Fix the bun with a long hair bodkin. Smooth out the nape hair, then twist it tightly to mid-strand. The reserved nape hair is used to create an unexpected decorative detail a single three-strand braid laid over the top of the bun. Once you have twisted the nape hair to mid-strand, weave a three-strand braid all the way to the tips of the hair. Lift the nape strand upward and align it over the top of the bun. Coil the end around the base of the braid below the hair bodkin or the braid may slip off the bun. With the blunt needle and thread, stitch this braid firmly around the base of the bun. When finished stitching, leave the thread attached. The front hair on each side of the head is divided into three horizontal sections so that each may be wrapped around the bun in alternation. Take the first horizontal section near the top of the head, pull it back toward the bun while twisting the strand downward. Twist and wrap the strand all around the bun.
then stitch it in place. Next, do the top section on the opposite side of the head. Continue alternating sides until all the hair is used up. Once the last strand is wrapped and stitched, remove the hair bodkin, then check for any loose strands. Make sure all is firm and secure. The tutelus is now complete. By 100 AD, the Etruscan language was no longer spoken and its culture had been absorbed and replaced by Roman practices. But the Tutelus lived on in Roman religion as the official hairstyle of the Flaminica Dialis, wife of the Flamen Dialis, high priest of the Roman god Jupiter.